Hello YouTube, Papa Chaz here. Coming at you on a rainy Sunday night. Pick me up a chuck roast today. Going to do it for supper tomorrow, but we're going to prep it tonight. Get it ready to go on that smoker grill I've been showing you the last few days. Do some barbecue, probably do a pot of Brunswick stew to go with it. Have Try to have it on there about lunchtime tomorrow. Give it plenty of time to cook. Take it slow and slow. But I'm going to get it uh, prepped up tonight. Come back at you in just a few minutes when I get it prepped and show you what it looks like. And we'll let it soak overnight, wrap it in the, uh, some foil and uh, our stretch wrap and put it in the refrigerator. Let it soak. Let it get ready to go on that grill tomorrow. So I'll be back at you in just a few minutes. Hey YouTube, I'm back at you. Papa Chaz. Got my roast all coated up good with my rub. You can see that's a good looking piece of meat right there. It's going to go good on that smoker tomorrow. So now we're going to wrap it up, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit overnight, soak that rub in. Just a tip for some of you, if you don't have overnight to marinate or, or let you let your meat rest, you can coat it good with salt, leave it at room temperature for about an hour, and then put your rub or your marinade on it. And what the salt does, you will not taste the salt. It will not make the meat taste salty, but that salt opens the pores up, makes it absorb the marinade or the rub better. Since I got overnight, I'm not worried about it so much, but uh, if, if you have to do a quick marinade, uh, you can do that. Now, for those of you with heart problems, you know what your salt intake has to has to be. You are putting salt on it just because you won't taste it don't mean it's not there. So be careful with that, but a uh, little disclaimer there. But uh, this is what our meat looks like. Show it to you again tomorrow when we get it put on the grill, and we'll go from there. And uh, until then, we'll talk to you later. Good morning YouTube, Papa Chaz back at you this morning. I've been out this morning trying to find me some hickory wood for this smoker that I bought. You can see I found some, but it's all little limbs. It'll be okay for now. Uh, being that I'm pushed, I, I went ahead and took this. Uh, I, I do have a contact that's got some, but it's gonna be after dark before I could get it and I gotta have it today. So I went ahead and got this uh, so I could get started. Got me some stones I'm gonna put down, get this stacked off the truck here in a little while. I gotta get my smoker fired up. I'm doing a that chuck roast we talked about uh, that I showed you, and uh, got to get this uh, fire started, get this thing going, and uh, I can stack this wood off here in a little while. Got them stones I'm gonna put on, keep it off the ground. This will be good enough to last me for a few burns. It's small pieces, but uh, it'll burn good. It's dry. It's been kept in. The, it's been kept inside, so in, in their big old outbuilding. So it's okay. It'll it'll, it'll do for now. And uh, trying to find me some pecan and uh or some of you folks say pecan uh and some more hickory uh cherry apple uh any of those any of those are good for the smoker but uh just showing you what i got and uh gonna get the fire started here and then start working on unloading and that way i can go ahead and get my meat on for today's supper so i'll come back at you after a while hey you too papa chad's back at you you can see my wood stack just got it unloaded uh you know me with my disability it took me a little while to do it got me a little got me some stones down got a few pieces there that's bigger and longer the longer ones i need to need to chop in half and bigger ones i'm saving for my all day cook tomorrow and uh, we are just about to the point we're wide open on the damper we're just about to the point where we're ready to uh get the the chuck roast put on looks like we're at about 275 um 300 on that end, 261 on that end, 262 just bumped up. I forgot I moved my plates around while I was cleaning it. Forgot to close them back up, so it's climbing. Uh, it's climbing on that end. We want it to be around 275 is where we're at, so I'm going I'm gonna put this uh, chuck roast in the middle, and uh, that's where I'm wanting to cook at. So uh, I'm gonna put that chuck roast in the middle and uh, get it stuck on there, and uh, we'll. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll just go get it right now. Y'all don't mind my messy porch. And we can see the roast right here. It's been sitting all night. I put the rub on it last night. Good looking piece of meat right there. And uh, got the rub put on it last night. It's been sitting in the refrigerator all night long. Probably uh, a little over 12 hours. So it should be good to go. And we're gonna go put this piece of meat on that grill. 
and get her started cooking and we'll eat good tonight we eat good every night around here though for those of you that know me you already knew that all right there she is we're gonna let it cook i'm expecting this to take about three hours i'm gonna come back out in a, about an hour or so and check it have to come out with that little wood i'm gonna have to come out about every uh, 30 minutes or so and check my fire you can see i got a good fire going come out about every 30 minutes and check it anyway there we are for right now uh and we'll be back uh probably about an hour check on it let, let y'all see what it's looking like peace out hey youtube papa chaz back at you it's been a little over an hour i've been fooling around with the temperature having trouble getting my temperature regulated with this wind blowing as cold as it is I haven't raised the lid yet but i'm fixing to so i can spray some apple juice on here and uh, we're gonna see what we're looking like oh it's looking good looking good spray a little bit on there not a whole lot just to kind of flavor it up a little bit i had a note from somebody one of my longtime friends from high school because i had put a message on facebook asking if anybody knew where i could get some good wood apple pecan hickory or whatever she said they had an apple tree blow down so i'm going to make arrangements with my son-in-law to get over and get that thing and uh get me some apple wood i'm in process right now of cutting this uh cutting some of this hickory up it's, it's a little bit too long to go in there so uh, we got the chop saw out we're gonna we're gonna cut up a bunch of it in little chunks and put it in our garbage can there and put it on the porch where it'll stay stay dry keep it good and dry you can see i've already done some and i thought i might as well go ahead and get that garbage can full so um make it a little bit easier to use this wood it's too long and it, it stayed up off the fire and my fire got too cold and i had to pack it back full and then it put up too much smoke and it's just a just a learning process but uh it, it's also it's also you got to be prepared and I, I wasn't prepared but uh I will be from now on, I can guarantee you that. See we still we got just a little too much white smoke uh, from having to put from having to put too much in there. I'm gonna open that I'm gonna open that back up. Although my tent for climbing it's gonna clean up a little bit, so I'm gonna open that back up and get it hotter. But in the meantime, we'll be back uh, we'll be back in about an hour to check on it. And uh, once I get some more of this small wood cut up it'll uh, it'll burn a lot better. So uh, I'll be back in about an hour to let y'all know what's, how it's going. Hey YouTube, Papa Chaz back at you. Uh, we're about two hours into our uh, chuck roast barbecue cook today. I took that probe and stuck it inside the meat so uh, I can keep up with it a little bit better. Got this other probe over here right next to the meat. Uh, 276, that's where about where I wanted to stay. I finally got my heat to stabilize. You can see where, here's what my meat looks like. I'm going to tin it with some... Uh, uh, aluminum foil for the next hours for the next couple of hours um, I expect to take a couple more hours to cook like I said I've had trouble keeping this fire going or keeping the temperatures stable um, I figured out if I cut up some of that wood a little bit smaller I could keep it burning a little bit better and uh, you see I got a good hot fire going right there now so uh, we're about uh, about a fourth of the way open on the damper so yeah we're doing good I'm gonna tent this thing with aluminum foil Kind of cut back on some of the smoke for about an hour or so and then uh, see where our temperature's at and then for maybe the last 30 40 minutes or so whatever take the aluminum foil back off so that's where we're at um and uh i'll uh, i'll check back with y'all in just a little while this is looking good though peace out hey youtubers papa chance back at you we're just a little over three hours into our chuck roast cook and as you can see internal meat temperatures at 166 holding steady pretty steady now i've got it i've got this uh figured out for holding steady at around 250 260 and uh i've still got it tinted uh with the uh, foils you can see but uh i'm fixing to take that off because we're getting real close and i'm going to take that off of there see what she looks like oh yeah she looks good i'm going to take that off and uh move it down a little bit closer to the uh hotter end of the grill I'll try to get a little bit of a bark on it and uh, got a lot of juice sitting on top of it it's good and moist it it, 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 it don't need any more mist and we're gonna leave it like it is we're gonna slide her we're gonna slide her over 
try to get just a little bit more, a little bit more heat and get her, uh, uh, get a little bit of a bark on the outside of it. I uh, haven't decided if I'm going to baste it yet. I may come back in about 15 minutes and uh, put a little barbecue sauce on it, although we got the rub on it. I may just leave the barbecue sauce in a, in a bowl on the counter and just add it, just get it when we want it. But uh, for right now, that's where we're at. Uh, keeping a keeping a good check on it about every 30 40 minutes and uh, it's looking good so we're we're doing good we'll we'll come back at you here in just a little while and uh, uh, check it all out again and see where we're at probably about another 30 minutes or so we'll be done cooking so uh, we're gonna leave it like this for now and we'll come back and look, check it when it's done right, see you later hey YouTube Papa Chaz back at you we're at four hours on the cook it's taking longer than I thought it would. Mostly, I believe, because I had so much trouble keeping the temperature regulated till I figured the wood out. Uh, right now, I've got it uh, about 296. That's okay. At four hours, we're at 167. Looks like our target temp set at 170 for beef well done. Just popped over to 168, or it's popping back and forth. So we're not too far away from being done. I decided I'm not going to baste it with any sauce. Uh, we got a good. We got a good bark coming in on it already, and uh, I'm just going to leave it like it is and uh, give it another 15, 20 minutes. Uh, my dear sweet wife will be home from work about that time, and we'll start on some Brunswick stew. And by the time the stew gets done, uh, we'll uh, we'll be ready to slice and chop some barbecue. So I'll I'll be back uh, with a picture and some uh, some more video as we finish this thing up. I appreciate y'all's time. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope I'm helping y'all with uh, uh, with some things that you want to do with your grills or smokers or or whatever. And uh, I'm going to do some videos on Dutch oven cooking too. For those that like to do Dutch ovens, we do some Dutch oven cooking too. And uh, probably do some of that later on in the week, maybe next week, get, get something on video. Uh, after all the leftovers from Christmas are gone. And uh, we'll be back at y'all here in just a little bit. And uh, show you what it looks like when it's finished. Peace out. Hey YouTube, Papa Chaz back at you finishing up our cook for today. We've got our chuck roast right there. Temps out at uh, 171 degrees, which is well done for beef. And uh, fully cooked is what the what the thermometer guide said was fully cooked. Um, man, it looks awesome. It's got a good bark on it. Let me pull that temperature probe out. Go ahead and set it out here on this uh, cutting board because we're going to do some chopped barbecue. You'll see the how juicy it is right there on top. Oh, I'm gonna have to be careful; it's gonna fall apart on me. May not be able to get it. All right, and there we are. Now, is that not awesome looking, or or what? So, get this thing inside. Cut off a piece. And uh, all right, decided not to put sauce on it while it was cooking. I'm going to put some in the bowl or in a squirt bottle. Oh man, the smell of that is just incredible. Let me grab me a little knife. You've got to get me a better camera set up. I'm going to do very many of these. Get me a little steak knife. Oh man, that is just so tender. Look at that. Get in on that close. Goodness gracious. taste oh oh man that is incredible okay I'm gonna back away from this so there's some left when the wife gets home all right so we did the chuck roast cooked it about four hours and 20 minutes to get it to fully cooked temperature I did do a uh, Montreal steak rub is what I rubbed that down with. Uh, let it sit overnight in the refrigerator with the rub on it. And uh, I don't know that we're, I'll even put any sauce on it. It's good and moist. It's good and tender. It's got a real good taste to it. So, uh, YouTubers, uh, chuck roast on the Brinkman Trailmaster Limited Smoker Grill uh, for supper tonight. And we are good to go. And we'll be back at you next time. Until then, y'all have a safe and Merry Christmas. Hey YouTubers, Papa Chaz back at you. We decided to do just a little bit more video. There is a plate of beef barbecue. 
chopped up, ready to go. My lovely wife is making a pot of Brunswick stew. You can see her saute and the onions to put in it. We are having barbecue and Brunswick stew for supper tonight, which is a good night for it because it's cooling off and uh, we'll be eating well for this evening. So we hope, uh, we hope everybody enjoys our video. Hope it helps you when you get ready to cook something and uh, we'll talk to you later.